Greetings from the center of the universe. My name is Calvin, and it's a beautiful day here. The sun is shining, and so are the other stars. Well, we can't actually see the other stars. Now, at nighttime, we can see the stars, so how come during the day we can't? Well, the sunlight is coming from the sun and scattering across the atmosphere, making it bright blue, overpowering the light from the other stars. Now, we could see the stars during the daytime if we could just remove that pesky atmosphere. We can't do that in reality, but we can do that in Stellarium. Let me show you how. All right, we are in Stellarium. It is daytime, and the sun is shining, and the light from the sun is scattering through the atmosphere, making it look blue. So, if we were to remove the atmosphere, we wouldn't have that scattering effect, and we'd be able to see what's behind the blue. So if we come down here to the atmosphere button and click it, or press the A key, we can remove the atmosphere. So, as you can see, without the atmosphere, well, you can't breathe, but you can also see the stars, so that's a pretty decent trade-off. Light from the sun is coming directly to Earth rather than scattering around. The sun isn't the only bright thing that will scatter its light through the sky and make it blue. The moon can also do that to a lesser extent. So I can show that. I'll turn the atmosphere back on and we'll go to the uh, daytime window, go ahead a few hours into night, like that, and close that window and look for the moon. Here it is. So we can see the moon. It is bright, but we can also see the other stars around. But if I come back down here again and remove the atmosphere again, we can actually see a few more stars. You can see just like a few of the dimmer ones are a bit more visible. And it's not just the sun or the moon that does this. It's also city lights. They can shine and scatter their light through and make it hard to see the stars. So let's take a look at that. We can sort of simulate that using the options here in the sky in viewing options window. So we'll click that to bring it up. And it's this big menu, but um, we only need this one part. So it says here light pollution, and there's a number from one to nine. And if we simply move this number up, we see fewer and fewer stars. And that's uh, simulating uh, light pollution, light from city, city lights uh, scattering through the atmosphere, making the sky look a little bit blue. So even at nighttime, it's hard to see the stars. This can also be uh, in Stellarium here tied to uh, your location. So if you check this box, then it sets the light pollution to wherever you are. So I'm here in Victoria. The light pollution is set to two here. But we can go to different places, so I can close this window and open this one, location, and go to a different location, like Winnipeg. That's a city, big enough, many lights. Uh, close that, reopen this one, so you can see uh, some stars, uh, but much fewer than before. We can click this and see the light pollution number is set to eight now. So in a big city, it'll be higher. In a smaller city, there'll be fewer lights, and so you'll be able to see more. And if you're way out in uh, the rural, rural areas, it'll be even easier to see stars at night. So the best time to see stars would be uh, at night, of course, with uh, no sun in the sky and also no moon in the sky. And the best place would be um, away from any city lights. That, or you can just remove the atmosphere. Your call. Exo Explorations is a grade school level educational resource that teaches about stars in the sky and the planets that orbit them. You can learn more at centeroftheuniverse.org slash exoexplorations.